I came back, the people that was, the people that was trying to show love that kind of wasn't really there through the process. It's like, all right, I'll give you this little moment, but nah. You, you know really know what it is. Right, right. You know, and that go for family, family and friends. friends. Like, mm-hmm. that go for that, everybody, but yeah, like, it's, it's reduced. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Coming out, because how long did you stay in there for? Two years. Two years. Um, some people say two years is not a lot of time. Some people say it is. But what had changed for you when you came back out after two of years? Course. The way people work in the internet. Um, it wasn't really like that when I left. Like, my my brother, Young he's in heat. When I came home, we was, we was rocking for a little minute. He was like... Man, bitch, you got to work the internet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he right. Bitch, you got to work the internet. And I, and I but he don't attention. even work the internet. Nah, he worked the internet. He do? He worked the yeah. internet. Oh, okay. Uh, but he like, yeah, but I'm paying attention. You know, like, people going viral off the internet. They like, are. Mm-hmm. He making, went viral. Making right. livings off the, you know what I'm saying, off the, off the phone. Like, so that's one thing that I, I'm still really trying to adapt to because I don't want me to be... Like the era I came up yeah. in wasn't really televised, you know. But so, the internet was around before you locked. You were locked nah, up. Nah, it definitely was, but just the way that people worked. We using it nowadays. Yeah, and the things that we using it for, like mm-hmm. for instance, like the keep leave guy. Yeah, like yeah, go to somebody's place just and eat. turn it all the way up. Yeah. Right, and all he doing is going to taste the food. Taste you know the food saying? and giving a review. Right. Yeah, leaving a positive or negative, or negative review on review. the business. Mm-hmm. But either way. These people numbers are going up. Mm-hmm. You no, know, this and this the internet work. Well, you're right. And when you came home, you was more. I'm gonna get back to these clothes, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna sell merch. What um, did did? How's that been going for you? It's going all right. It's ups and downs. I'm I'm going through the process of rebranding right now. Okay. Um, I'm a fuck with my people over there, SF2, Teresa, and them. They was the people that was doing the the original Dicky suit back in the game. Yeah. The only yeah. you know she was the only person to ever really made that anybody else who made that is definitely not original correct you can get it from SF2 with Teresa and Susie it's not, not original. it's not authentic yeah bro. so but that's no. that was that's that's what you're going with now yeah. what are you are you looking to brand it in like it's ways to do it to where it's seasonal to where you bring out you know where I'm going where you bring out different say you might have some for like holiday you call it a holiday. I ain't gonna to you. We you, got but, everything on deck all year round. But you see what I'm saying? But it, it's a way, and, and this is a mental thing too. Being that I've been dealing with this, apparel, it's a mental thing. People, It gives people a reason to come. You get what I'm saying? So if you're gonna do holiday, if you're gonna do spring, if you're gonna do bullets like that where you're bringing out certain ones, it can still be the same thing, but it's hitting them at different times. You right, see what I'm right. saying? To where they feel like, okay, it's time for the, we can like get right that now. Holiday. We're supposed to be rolling out the hoodies. There you go, and, the, and the calling it sleeves, and, shirts, and, the sweats, and the then calling it beanies, something, right? Calling it whatever you want to call it, but boom, they're getting ready. They see it, it's coming, and that's how you stage it. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. And that's how they get a lot of people money. The stores, it's everywhere like that. Yeah, like marketing stunt. Different capsules. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but it's not really, It's I say marketing stunt, but it's not a stunt at all. No, it's though. just being precise on how you deal dealing with your product and the way that you pretty much going to present it. Right. Because there has to be something like that if you want to stage it in a way to where it magnifies the crowd whenever you it, it's hitting them a certain way. If you just bring out certain things and you ain't giving them a way to present it, and then it, it may not hit the same. And that's one main reason for me rebranding because... I was I was kind of doing that. Like I say, we gonna have I I have a hoodie for you in the middle of the summer. Yeah, yeah. But you're definitely right though. It's <laughs> always gonna be something. Even though it's like that over here, it's always gonna be some new, fresh, different. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we. <laughs> I want to kill it. We only gonna do a certain number of these, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we're gonna keep uh, some exclusive drops. So I so whenever you came out. Were you, um, did you receive uh, like a lot of love and support from family and friends? Or did you, cause you know a lot of times people always say when you locked up is like, when you come out, you sort of like reduce the amount of friends you have because a lot, of them, a lot of them didn't like reach out to you or support you, why. things changed yeah. and stuff like that. <laughs> did that happen to you as well? Kind of, but not really like, 
when I came back, the people that was the people that was trying to show love that kind of wasn't really there through the process. It's like, I I'll give you this little moment, but nah. You, you know really know what it is, right? Right. You know, and that go for family, family and friends. friends. Like mm-hmm. that go for that, everybody. But yeah, like it's it's reduced, and the reason is because for one. That time taught me, like, being isolated, I get more done. Yeah. And then, two, it just showed me, it just showed me, like, it's not, certain relationships wasn't what you, what you, know, you thought, you thought it, was. it was. So, mm-hmm. it just make you fall back. I, I cut a lot of people off, because I just felt like a lot of people fell back. So, it's like, it's fake, fake love. Right, because so I just me, I, I got too me. much stuff no to do. What I'm going You're going to slow me down, too. I got stuff I'm trying to do. I don't need nothing that's not real in my path. I need st- stuff that's real so I can make them. My, my, my impactful moments can be real. Right. But I like the way how you said that, as in like um, when you come out here, it's like you have so much distractions that it does slow you down. And because you are made to sit still there, it's easier for you to do. But how can you incorporate find that uh, that alone time so you can focus and have your goals like really set where it needs to be instead of having people be like hey come let's go here can you know what i mean these days I have to keep staying on the schedule too much freelancing you know it's, it's like what they saying you know idle time is a devil playground yeah that's true so it's like oh, oh. the, the <laughs> more that i keep myself isolated and in the solitude is like my best ideas, the mm-hmm. you know, I just can step by step every day, and they come with I'll be on the schedule, okay. just not freelancing. Cause you have how many siblings do you have? In total, eight. That many? Yeah, yeah. Cause he he he. You talking about your mother? How many? How your many do you have for you for your mom? How many? My mama have six. My dad have three. Three. Oh, okay, okay. Your mama gave birth to six? Yeah, three boys, three girls. Ooh, my hat go off to your mama because she a strong woman to have that They don't many. make them like that no more. Like, dang. They don't make them like that no more. So <laughs> wow. And you the oldest? Nah. For your mama? Damn, I'm a second to last. Oh, for your mama? Yeah, oh, second. so she start. Okay. My oldest brother on my mama's side is what, 39? Okay. Yeah, 39. Wow. So she had them back to back. Close to back to back. You could say the first, the first three... They were like kind of back to back, mm-hmm. but then the, the second Listen. three we are a little bit spaced out. Oh, okay. Like my my brother, he's seven years older than me. That's the one that's on top, and then my baby sister, she five years younger. Mm. Yeah. Are you close with all your siblings? No. <laughs> okay, let me ask. Are you close with all your siblings on your mama's side? No. <laughs> like on your daddy's side? No. <laughs> we we all talk. Don't get me wrong. Like we all have relationships, but we. Yeah. The the closest I am is to my the two that I'm mentioning, the one that's seven years old and mm-hmm. the one that's five years younger. Yeah. My brother and sister, them two, we the closest. I would think that you would be closer with your mama's side because as your mom, you know, you all of them be with your mama. But since it's your dad, you know, the different moms, so that might be a little bit And the baby, she just up and left us, man. She just went to the navy, so that's oh, a good really? thing. Oh really? Wow. She's gonna see the world, but hopefully everything be straight because this government's they own one. But Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.